Hello everybody, Anya My name is Chef Mac Daddy and welcome to Mac Daddy's Divine Kitchen. Today I will be making one of the most popular dishes in Korean cuisine, Korean chop che, which is made with glass noodles. It's a very popular dish that's served at a lot of celebrations. Let's get started. The first thing I'm doing is I'm heating up my skillet. I'm making uh, the eggs that go on top of the chop che when it's done. Uh, what you do is I'm just scrambling four eggs and I put a little bit in at a time and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shred it very nicely so it goes on top of the chopped chip. So once my skillet is hot I'm only going to put just a little in the center. That's all I'm going to work with is just a little bit at a time. You know, be patient with this because one of the greatest things about it is your patience will pay off because I'm making enough that I can eat off of for a whole week. That's why I said just be patient and do this right the first time so that you know you have delicious chop chat to serve to everyone. And also, if you're on a diet, this is a perfect dish to make. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm turning off my heat. And I'm just gonna let it cook down before I turn it. And while I am doing this to prepare to cook the other side, please, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Also, right next to the subscribe button, please click on the alert bell. That way you can stay up to date with all my latest tutorials as I post them. And leave a comment and give a thumbs up if you like this video. Okay, this is ready to turn. Perfect. That is cooling on my chopping board. I'm going to make another one here. And we're almost done. I have rolled my omelets up, starting from one end. Now what I want to do is I'm gonna cut them into little thin strips. This is for my topping for later. And there you have it. Just perfect little shreds for the top of your chop chat when you were done. Okay, you remember in one of the episodes, uh, I taught everyone how to make traditional bulgogi. Okay, so this is ready to go and I really don't need an oil because this is already has your sesame seed oil, everything in it. I'm adding my bulgogi. And so this is perfect. I can wake up for lunch or dinner, have myself some chop chat or galbi, and call it a day. And I'm feeling fabulous. Because it's like a whole meal in one. The beef gives you your protein. It has plenty of vegetables in it. Okay, we're just letting this cook down just a little bit. I'm gonna add my carrots now, because I want these to sort of tenderize and cooking all that nice bulgogi flavor. Okay, this is cooking down, and while this is cooking, I'm gonna add my red bell pepper and green bell pepper. What I've cut it, I've cut all my bell pepper is julienne. Oh my God, this smells so good. Now while this is cooking down, I just want this to get just a little bit tender before I add my vermicello noodles. It's gonna be the bean thread. The reason why is because um, you don't want your bean thread to overcook. Although you stop the cooking process, there's a whole video. You look in the description tab below. 
that you click on that link and I did one video just in making uh, vermicello noodles. I'm using uh, three cups of shiitake mushrooms. They're very meaty, it's almost like a beef, especially if you're a vegetarian. The shiitake mushrooms are just have such a delicious flavor. They're so nice and meaty. Um, I love watching kids fight over the noodles. Okay, this is almost done. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add this on top. Now what I have right here is four tablespoons of dark soy sauce. And this is the most important thing, the sesame seed oil. What makes um, chopped ched different from Chinese, uh, in Chinese they call it mi fun, chao mi fun. What makes it different is um, the noodles have a really strong sesame seed taste, which is out of this world when you're cooking uh, Korean uh, chop cha. I'm only adding about like less than half a cup because I want all of this flavor to soak in. And what I want to do is I want to get all this mixed in there. I've been eating off of this for quite some time. That is so beautiful. Let's give this, well, let me salt and pepper this first. Let's add some salt for taste. Fresh ground pepper that I grind myself. Now this is optional, but I'm just gonna add just a few hot pepper flakes. I just like to have just a baby kick, not too much. This is only about, you know, maybe one tablespoon, that's it. It's just to give it just a little, just a little baby kick in the butt. Mm. So that your noodles is like, mm, mm. Delicious. Well, let me just add a little final ingredients. I have some shredded onions here that I wanted in here. My heat is off and this is already done. And here's the final product. And remember those delicious toasted sesame seed I taught everyone how to make in one of my tutorial? Sprinkle it on top to elevate your dish to a whole nother level. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna top it with those delicious eggs that we chopped up earlier. And please don't do like me. Don't forget to add your spinach earlier when you're toasting this dish. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Now the next one is going to be out of this world. You are going to love it. Until then, bye everyone.